Speaker, we have some big hurdles in front of us. I have served in the State Senate since 2021, so I know that each legislative session brings on its own unique set of challenges. But I believe now more than ever, our constituents are demanding realistic, common sense solutions to our state's biggest issues. And I, along with my Democratic colleagues, are ready to deliver. For the very first time ever, the Joint Democratic Caucuses released a list of policy-specific priorities that, if Democrats were in the majority, would actually get a fair hearing and make reality better right away for Arizonans. Since I took office, my commitment has been to ensure that my support falls squarely behind policy that moves the needle to lower the cost of living, protect our state tax dollars, invest in K-12 education, and give every Arizonan a fair shot at the American dream. In an effort to make our community safer and combat the opioid epidemic, I have already introduced legislation to strengthen Arizona's Good Samaritan Law and decriminalize testing equipment for drugs. But making our community safer and healthier calls for a holistic policy approach, which our joint democratic priorities have focused on. To name just a few, we are committed to making childcare more affordable for working parents, instituting a first-time homeowner assistant plan to address the affordable housing crisis, ensure full-day kindergarten, work to lower prescription drug costs, ensure the right to contraception, and reform the universal ESA expansion to ensure student safety and success. I look forward to keeping LD4 and Arizona up to date on what's happening here at the Capitol this session, and I'm confident that we can move forward legislation and a budget that makes our state a thriving place for all people. Thank you.